Hello my fellow earth angels, thank you so much for being here and joining me today. It should come as no surprise that I generally don't pick up my camera when I'm feeling mucky or underwater, but I decided to for this video because when I was sad in the past, it could lead to days of isolation and self-abandonment, but my sadness is so much more manageable and stable now, so I guess I just wanted to show how I navigate my emotions these days. It's really simple, but I think the main distinction is that I'm not creating worlds of suffering and negative belief systems out of a few moments of despair, but rather nursing those moments back to wholeness. So here's a day in my life when I'm feeling a little bit blue and once again finding myself in a whole new city. I'm in Istanbul right now. I don't know why I feel like I have to whisper, but I'm just waking up and I have honestly been going through a breakup the past few weeks and no matter how consciously, lovingly, mutually, respectfully you end a partnership, it's still sad and there's like a processing time that needs to happen and I'm in that right now. I feel like I always have this pressure to synthesize my experience so quickly into something digestible so I can explain it to people, not just on YouTube but in real life people want to know what's going on and I'm just not there yet. I do feel like I could cry at any second. I also feel extremely excited about life at every other second. The soundtrack to this moment for me is the Submarine album by Alex Turner. Just that, that is how I'm feeling. So every time that I'm trying to make sense of my emotions at the level of the mind, it usually just sends me into a spiral, digs me into a hole with no solutions or answers. So I've really learned not to do that and to drop so deeply into my feeling body where everything is welcome and everything is okay. It doesn't actually have to make sense. And my yoga practice is something that I land on a lot, but also any form of movement like dancing or singing or I don't know playing dress up with myself I've been the least dogmatic about my practice than ever and it just feels so good because truly everything is a doorway back into that still knowing place inside if you have the right intention listening to music and walking around a city alone is like a whole date experience for myself so that's what I'm gonna do getting breakfast alone with myself and having some of my favorite Turkish things. So I'm having chai, Turkish tea, with one cube of sugar. I ordered some mantu, which is like Turkish ravioli with potato and onion. I'm also listening to Glennon Doyle. I feel so held by her and I was going to walk around a bunch and go to museums, but I honestly just feel like laying flat and reading for hours and I'm just sad, and that's okay. I don't have that much to say about it. I got my fruit and I came right back home. Some figs, very yummy. Three peaches, and then I just got a bunch of cucumbers because these are really good snacks for me that are gonna make me feel good. And I just need to have good nibbly things in the fridge. I made some cacao last night and I'm drinking the leftovers cold. It's so good. In the past when I was sad, I would binge eat pretty badly, pretty consistently. Now I just stop everything that I'm doing and let myself feel because binge eating kind of felt like 
completely stuffing down the emotions, but they wouldn't go anywhere. I was actually just feeding that energy of shame and guilt and sadness by binge eating and then they would fester even longer. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. There's something about sitting on the floor and feeling your feelings and crying. I'm probably going to make a whole video about this, but I think it's so wild the weight and expectations we place on romantic partnerships. When I was younger, I would literally act out, mime out, being so deeply in love. Like, my door would be closed and I would be pushing myself against the wall, pretending to be kissed passionately, probably making out with my hand or something. And I was so excited about being desired and being in love in general. I was just excited about this energy of passion washing over me and another person and sweeping me away and in a way taking me away from my own low self-worth and feelings of inadequacy that's sort of the root of my daydream was that i would meet someone and they would make me feel like everything was okay like i was worthy and worth it and they would take me away from my home that i didn't want to be in anymore and as I got older, I mean, obviously this was reprogrammed over and over again that romantic relationships would fulfill my every need. But the reality is that you still have moments of loneliness, of questioning your self-worth, of potentially isolation and so much growth to do while you're in a romantic partnership. They're really just meant to support you in doing that work yourself, but no one can take you away from your own obstacles or your own karma. What you look for in a relationship will change. Like, instead of just wanting to be with the perfect person who gives you all these things or praises you all the time, you just wanna be with someone who understands you and is taking time to grow on their own. What matters to me most now in friendships and partnerships in general is just curiosity like genuinely always being curious about who the person is and who they're becoming and trying to understand that and support whatever their path is looking like and inspiring one another to live that was like a bunch of different things but in general i love the quote that the most accurate depiction of true love is two people inspiring each other to live when you're in your mid-20s and later it just feels like all relationships are so serious like you're either going to get married or break up and those are the only options and it's too much since i was 14 i've been in long-term romantic partnerships I felt like i needed time in the world belonging to myself with with my whole heart with my whole trust in the world that i have now with my sanity yeah i don't want to share too much about this but it's just coming out because i'm feeling all of it decided it was a bit too early for me to wallow in bed for the rest of the day so I decided to go thrifting and this is what I do when I go to a new city because it gives me a destination for me to walk around and then it's like free entertainment because I don't need to buy anything and this whole street just has thrift stores going up and down it so let's just see this is honestly an excuse for me to walk around and not isolate in bed so yeah <laughs> Mutish! <laughs> honoring me being in the underworld for the past few days i felt i was like feeling you extra today and it's cute that you were like looking through photos and made a little post very adorable <laughs> you would have loved it i was thinking of honestly all of you guys
This is sad right now. <laughs> I'm about to move with Nicole for the next 50 minutes. I love her Pilates videos and my spirits are feeling higher this morning. I think I was just really looking around at my life and feeling so grateful. I feel like there's no room for any kind of doubt, judgment, fear, questioning when you're invoking gratitude. I don't as frequently fill my body and heart and my prayers and my soul with the vibration and frequency and feeling of gratitude, like fully whole body chills because of this beautiful path that I get to live, that is something that I want to do more of. But yeah, I think that's been helping me. And I'm seeing a friend today, so I'm excited for that. Not just any friend, a best friend, really. And let your forehead rest heavy on the mat. Take this time to tune in to your breath. So nice big inhales through your nose and exhales through your mouth. I'm heading to a meeting this morning and I wanted to go for a little model off-duty look. I'm not cold, but the trench coat just adds a touch of professionalism that I feel like I need right now. But I'm getting out in the world early. It's good. We're doing good. I have a little bit of running around to do today and I'm excited for it. I may be creating something really cool in about a year from now. That's all I can say, but I'm feeling full. Keeping my passion alive and continuing to create and create meaning in my life. You have to create the meaning because it's not just gonna happen. There's a lot going on right now, but I'm picking up my friend Rank from the ferry. My friends always take me away from the worst parts of myself and bring me into the best parts of myself. So we're going to Rank's aunt, who is a famous artist. I'm really excited. <laughs> Today's just reminding me why I really like to exist and that art alone is a reason to exist. I am so grateful for the years of experiential wisdom that I now carry because emotions are really unserious to me at this point. I can really sit with them in a ministry of presence and fully honor what they're communicating with me or allow myself to feel the discomfort of them while all the time remembering that they are going to pass and they are not the truth of my being or of my experience in life. and. It makes me feel really full just knowing that I could have a sad day and then within 24 hours I'm spending time with people I care about and being social and it's not the end of the world like it used to be. It still kind of strikes me and makes me really proud. So anyway, can't wait to share more with you soon. Bye guys!